As usual, I see. Oh, crikey, it's the Rosers. Silence, wench. I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. Seen any elves? <laughs>
by Odin's beard. We made it. We're here. Sunday special. Lego Ideas number 51. Viking Village. Chill build. I was a little late kicking off because the overhead camera idea that I had was not an easy one to implement. And I'll tell you for why. Um, but after I've greeted the chat. Let me just roll up to the top here. Um, hello, Cine. Congrats on being first. Hello, Space Bunny. <laughs> Pingus. Hello, Tin. Oh, Omega Nut. Hello, JH. Thank you for the Whatever Wednesday redeem. Strange Brigade is one that I've played before. Um, solo. It can be played solo, but it's meant as a co-op third-person shooter. It was quite generic, but I like the style. Um, I think the shooting was kind of fun. It's just a kind of mindless, let's just hang out and play some games kind of thing. It's one of those kind of games. So I'll definitely have some guests on when I come to play that. Um, so if anybody's interested in doing that, maybe keep an eye out on the sales or see if you already own the game. Perhaps you can join me. But this won't be for a while anyway, because it's obviously gone to the bottom of the pile because of all the games that have been redeemed before it. Um, hello, JH. Hello, Tin, I've said hello to you all. I'm, I'm saying hello to you all again. Uh, hey guys. He is here. He is a god. Doubt. Share music name. I can easily do that. It's this YouTube link. This is um, this is something I listen to a lot. No you, JH. Um, it's, it's Nordic Music 10 Hours. I've had it on the channel before. When I did the um, Viking ship build, I was listening to this. It's just 10 hours of this kind of loop of Nordic slash Viking-esque. Or, you know, even if it's not meant to sound like the kind of music they produced in that era, it's it, it invokes it. It definitely invokes it. Um, so we're going to be listening to that. Obviously, it's 10 hours long. I'm not streaming for 10 hours. I think we're, we're going we're gonna to aim for about 6 p.m. finish, roughly the three-hour mark, and see where we're at with the build. Speaking of which... Why don't we head on over to the overhead cam? And it's and already, already been, been knocked, knocked askew. askew. Wonderful. Oh, 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 I can I see. see. There we go. One cam. No, if anybody mentions that there's dual audio, stop. I fixed it. Ah! ah! <laughs> Space! <laughs> Re <laughs> I thought I was quick enough, but chat, you're, you're too quick even for me. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I know, I know it's the lag. I know it's the lag, but um, I thought in the time it took you to start typing, it would have adjusted. Um, but no, that is not the case. Um, welcome to the overhead camera. Um, now, I had one big problem with it, and that is lighting. It's three o'clock here in the UK, or quarter past three. The sun is on its way down. It's not very bright indoors. And my flat lights are still out of action due to the bathroom lighting issue. So I didn't have a way of lighting the overhead camera. So I thought, well, what can I do with this ring light? And I, you know, I, I took its little stand off. Um, I've been unscrewing things and tightening things. Now, the ring light, as you can see here, ruining the image, um, is attached to a bendy, like, arm mount which is hooked under a clamp which is clamped together and th that's all that clamp is doing it was going to be the clamp that was holding the camera in place the camera is now on the inside of the ring light being hung there on blue tack you see you see um the, the lengths i go to to make this shit work i need um i need a, what i need is a ring light on a bendy arm like the one I've got next to the mic, but I can't move that because it's wrapped in tape. Oh, bloody hell. Look, you know what? Doesn't matter. We're here. We did it. Um, I'm going to try and adjust this. Please don't come off. Trying to get it to include this part of the table because the you can see there this is the pole that the um the whole thing is mounted on. 
So there's part of the table at the front here that is missing. I'm just trying to adjust the camera to show it to you. Uh, you know what? That's better. We'll, we'll work with that. Try and line it up square as well. What I really would have liked is for, if it, is it, is for it to be completely overhead so that the table is square, corner to corner, but swings and roundabouts, you know. I also wanted a side camera, like just down here in the corner, and I would switch to a scene where they're swapped, so if we did like a close-up, it'd be on a bigger... Fuck's sake. All ifs and buts. And not the good butts. Here is what we're building today. Or starting to build. Don't touch the pole like that. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Um, beautiful, isn't it? A little bit of dinks in the box, but that's because it's been sitting on my flat for a couple of weeks. Um, here's the reverse side, which again, you can't really see because of the ring light. Perhaps what if I bring it closer? And you can see bits of it. I'm just going to crack it open. What's the point doing an unboxing build if I'm not going to open the box? Speaking of unboxing, the uh, the latest Transformer purchase is on its way out of China. Can confirm. China. Uh. What's all this? What's this? What's all this about, eh? No, I made the Viking boat already, ages ago. What's all this commotion? We'll have no trouble here! Hello, hello, Owen. Hello, Owen. How is Canadia? How long are you there for? Don't tell me you're already back. I don't want to bring on the sads. Ah, there we go. The box is open. T eh? <laughs> how's, how's, uh, how's, how's, how's Canada, eh? You fly home tomorrow. Boo! Now the question is, do you have a real party hard time today as a good send off and then suffer on the way home tomorrow or do you just I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that let's pour all this out oh Jesus oh there's so much uh, okay that's it box is empty Right, there you go. That was my Lego unboxing. We have unboxed it. Um, time to raid out, Kappa. Today we see penguins at the zoo. So yeah, party hard. Oh yeah, party penguin. What's this? Oh, it, oh the instructions are in a little cardboard... ...folder. Sir, so, can you show me your official documents? Yes, I put them in my Lego sleeve. <laughs> penguins. Penguins. Hmm. Oh, we got to the breathing part of the uh, audio track. Breathe, breathe. Lean, lean away from the mic to breathe in. This person forgot to do that. Ah, uh, ah, oh, lovely. Hang on. Check this out. So on the front of the instructions, it's just, you know, your standard affair. It shows the model, but on the back, we've got this lovely sort of, sort of Midgard serpent. Uh, emblem. Really cool. I like that. I, honestly, I was expecting larger instructions. Um, I'm pretty sure that the Razorcrest set has bigger instructions than these. It's been amazing out here. Better than you could have ever imagined. Oh, fantastic, Owen. Really happy for you, mate. GG's. Ooh. We've got a... We've got a bendy piece there. Um, is that the only one, or is there more like that? Let, let's look at the bags. They're going to be numbered, aren't they? Apologies if the microphone picks up the sound of crackly bags. I will try and keep it to a minimum. Usually my method is to just open them ASAP so that it minimises the crunch. So that's the seven. This says eleven. So we've got at least eleven bags. I'm going to have to start putting some on the floor just to make room on here for the earlier ones. 15. Okay, now there's at least 15 bags. 14. Is that 6 or a 9? I guess that... Yeah, nice. I'm guessing 9 because the numbers line up that way. You shall do a larger photo dump at some point when you get home. Yeah, GG's. You can only upload 10 photos at a time to Discord, I believe. Just FYI. I hate it when I'm going through there and I'm selecting them all. Thinking I can post more than what I want. And then it's like, oh... 
No, I need to post them in two separate installments. I dropped Lego on the floor. Doesn't count. No. Denied. But you can absolutely do the prediction if, I, if it happens. <laughs> Crackly bags. Pull your trousers up. <laughs> uh, eight. So two. Eight, nine. Three. Three. I'm really bad at counting. Um, we established that was seven. If the microphone also picks up the sound of... Um, like wind and ticks. It's the sound of the wind coming through my extractor fan on over my hob, and um, the outside the outside flap, um, clapping, clapping flaps. <laughs> oh, oh no! Some chill Lego build this is turned out to be. Bag number one. There we go. So we've got, we've got bags one, two, and three. Um, Thirteen. Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, there's three bendy bits. Prediction on people. All right, nice. Yep, everybody, please cast your votes. Do you think that I will drop any Lego on the floor during this first part of the um, build stream? Again, part two will be next week, most likely. Right, there's bag number four. I'm going to keep bags one to five on the table. And then I think I've got the right order down there. So one, two, three, four, five. Everybody, something, something. Come on, let's ride to the Balamori. Um, this is the story all about how... Um, something about Judas. I don't know. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, 10,000 points say... Yes, I will drop Lego on the floor. Was that you, Tin? Is that what you were guessing? I love it when Tin says yes. Kek. Alright. Um, now. I... Hmm, do I want to use... Yeah, you know what? In true Viking fashion, we have, of course, got the Horns of Odin box that my mead came in. And I've taken the straw out. And this is going to be what I'm going to put Lego pieces in. So I've got a nice little tray to get it all out of. Um, if I put it that way. Then... Oh, no, you know what? Five. Four, three, two... Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect use of the box is to do that. Then what I can do is I'll keep it fair. I won't put the Lego pieces in a box or a tray. Put the tray in the fucking bin. Le uh, Gregory, if you, would, if you would allow me to explain myself, please. That's going to keep the bags in. Just so that they're all tucked nice and away from the build area. I'm going to have the Lego open on here. So that you guys get a fair chance of me tipping Lego on the floor. No tray in bin now. I refuse. Goodbye, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. No, this... Gregory, why don't you put those channel points for use and predict whether I will drop Lego on the floor. Because you can exact vengeance by saying, yeah, Robo absolutely will put Lego bricks on the floor because he's a right div who uses trays to build his Lego. You know? You, you see? Uh, here we go. I have another brick remover to add to the collection. I've got so many of these now. Well, in the night, where were these in the 90s? Huh? Lego? Where the hell were these in the 1990s when my seven-year-old ass was struggling to pull two Lego pieces apart, having to leave fucking teeth marks in them to get them to pull apart? I wanted these! 
And now they're in every bloody set. Love you, Lego. Please sponsor me. Please send me free Lego. Just send me a case of these <laughs> to make up for all those yields. Uh, only 220 points to say, no, I won't drop any Lego. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Fascinating. You're not supposed to use your ass to separate pieces. Look, I did what I had to. Alright? For the good of the realm. Realm. Okay. Let's get started. I can see a couple of minifigs in there. That's probably what we're going to be starting with. Lego VIP. Oh yeah, I can um, register the set, can't I? I'll do that now. Get my 20 VIP points. I don't, I don't think this is going to do anything. Oh, you can't, you can't see it anyway. That's fine. Where's the tough face? Um, yeah, scan it, get your points, spend it on Lego stuff. Do you want me to read this out? Meet the Vikings. The men and women of the Viking Age may have a reputation for being merciless plunderers and pillagers, but Viking culture is much more diverse. They were curious explorers, resourceful sailors and tradespeople, creative cooks, carpenters, weavers, jewelers, farmers, fishermen, storytellers, and much more. The word Viking was mainly used to refer to expeditions, and though no signs of horned helmets have emerged from archaeological digs, who knows if Vikings experimented with different fashion styles to show off status, clan colours, or simply just for fun. Viking Age men and women enjoyed equal rights in many respects, from participating in overseas voyages and tending to the home and different occupations, to local council representations, marital rights, and property ownership. There you go. Um, there's a little paragraph about the community. I can't see it because the ring light is like reflecting right here where I'm looking. This reminded Cine, you watched Thor Love and Thunder a while back for the first time. You are not happy. It's, oh, it, it had so much potential. They crammed in too much into one film. Too many comic stories into one film. Um, and I, I, I get it. They want to try and rush these things out because they know the actors aren't going to be... That they'll age out of the role and whatnot. But just come on. Come on. If you're going to do something like that, do it right. I felt no emotional connection to the Jane Foster stuff. Which is a shame when you think about, you know, what that entails. Um, oh god, what is my password? Did I change it to this? Uh, that was correct. Good. Register my set. Who is the set for? Myself. My child. My grandchild. Another relative. Someone else. Do not want to share. It's for myself. We know this. What occasion is the set for? No special occasion. Um, where is the set from? Lego.com website is where I got it from. And then I get my 20 VIP points. Yay. And I can use that to get more Lego. Not to mention the kind of meme spamming in almost every scene. Yeah, yeah. They tried to s tell two to three stories at the same time. Yeah, too quick and messy. Hello, Chaotic. Yes, indeed. It's leg day. <laughs> Never skip leg day. Welcome to the welcome to the very beginning of the Viking Village set. Oh, this is excellent. It's like a little... It's, it's like a whole essay here about like a brief summary of Viking history. Careers, style, expeditions and travels. Meet the fan designer. Florian Brickhammer. Ah, oh, great name. Well, I mean, obviously that's not his real name. Brickhammer. It might be. I don't know. Oh, and that's... Look, that looks like a rejected idea. Or, or maybe one that will happen in future. That comes with its own separate... Oh, it's upside down. Separate little sailboat. Which, look, which looks very similar to the one that I've got. Um, which is nearby. Um, obviously, I'd, I'd, there's no need to compare it now because the, this thing isn't done. But I will have them side by side 
later. Isaac Snyder, jo Johanna Worm Jensen. I have more designers behind this. Here we go. Bags 1, 2, and 3 do that stage. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 do that stage. And then 9 to 15 do that stage. Okay. So it's in three parts. But that doesn't mean it's going to be um, a three-parter. Um, I reckon if we got like from bags 1 to 7 or maybe 1 to 8 today before 6 o'clock, that would be great. And then we'll do the rest all in one go next week. Um, but you never know. I'm just sitting here yakking about it. Why don't we just bloody well get on with it? At least it's not brick top. Do you know what nemesis means? I don't know the rest of the quote. I need Owen to do that. Right, we're putting the mini thing together. How is the overhead camera, everybody? Is it all... Does it look okay? Is the, is the visual picture quality okay? Um, how's the audio as well? Because my microphone is having to do a bit of stretching to get over here. Ah. Oh, they are very happy to be here. Look at that. Happy! Um, well, this is a first for me. It comes with a little hammer piece, which is very similar to Mjolnir from the Thor minifig. This one is carrying... Okay, there is lipstick on there. I do think this is meant to be a female minifig. minifig. Although, that doesn't mean anything, does it? That is a... That, I'm just, no, I'm just, now that I'm seeing the minifig up close, look at the detailing on the body. Such lovely details on there. It's not quite focusing the way I want it to. Uh, my arms! But you can see the detail on there. That's really good. Great little minifig. And she's holding a paintbrush and a hammer, which is very good. There it is. Ah, oh, even the hammer. Look at the little painted detail on the hammer. This is awesome. So a hammer and a paintbrush. And then that's the minifig done to the side. Okay. has begun. I am building the Lego. Nothing is on the floor yet, but it's all to play for. I tell you what though, at least this overhead cam is meaning you can actually see what I'm doing. Because if it was from the side, all you would see is this, and then the, suddenly there's more Lego pieces on there. <sighs> anyway, how's everybody doing? How are your Sundays going? I've had a nice chill morning. I played some Minecraft. Um, watched uh, Taskmaster, a little bit of QI stuff on YouTube. Um, had some lunch and I just kind of milled about until time for the stream and then I spent 20 minutes trying to get the overhead camera set up which I think by and large is a bit of, is you know I think it's it's a success we're here it's working um, yep those three bits are done and like this I wonder what this is going to be Two black pegs in there, and this sticks out there. And then that plugs in there. Okay. Tin Sunday is going good. You've been doing your second playthrough of Pokemon Red Blue, but red this time for the version exclusives. And then you're off to see Wonka later with Iceberg Sins. Hey! Ah, oh, excellent. Ah, oh, 
have a great time. I hope you enjoy the film. I've heard that it's very good. I hope you enjoy it too. I think Eve has said it's already out on some streaming services. Um, but I'm glad that it's in cinemas as well. Well, for an occasion such as this. Uh, behave yourselves. Hold hands responsibly. Thank you. You've heard it's good. Nice. Hello, Aaron. Welcome. How's it going? Oh, I didn't see the final scores on the prediction. Um, but I know there was like, at least 10,000 channel points saying that I will drop Lego on the floor. So... I mean, I would say that I would try not to disappoint you, but obviously I want I, I don't want to drop Lego on the floor because I hate having to run around trying to find it. Because <laughs> I'm lazy. But we'll see. Like I said earlier, there's all to play for. Uh, where is that? It's a bigger one, isn't it? Yeah. Tinny's excited to start um, Baldur's Gate 3. You've been quite tired. Flu is still here. And you slept till 1pm. Which means you're a bit sad about since you were to spend the day doing stuff. Yeah, but I mean, you, clearly you needed that rest. So I, th I think, don't, 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 don't feel bad about having to slept for longer. I know that time is lost, but if you needed the rest, then it's better that you recover from that. Yeah, I'm not bad, Aaron. Thank you. I'm enjoying the beginnings of the Lego build. Um... And yeah, again, no Lego on the floor so far. Hey, oh, Lego on the floor. That's going there. And this is going here. And then this is going here. And then this is going here. Another, another interesting design. Oh, where'd that go? I think it just went up in here. So we've got like this kind of thing going on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na, 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. there's not many pieces in these first two bags 98% vote yes on Lego prediction 10,240 uh, energon cubes in most of it is of course tins <laughs> yeah and then some someone faithful out there thinks that I won't drop Lego on the floor well thank you I hope I don't disappoint you I would say I'm never going to let you down, but I can't sing as well as Rick Astley, so soz. And I'm never giving you my copy of Up. Because I don't have one. Um, okay, where's that going? There. Okay. And then, ah, interesting. Another one of these. That on there. Doesn't matter which way it's facing because it's all round. So we're putting this on now. Greg, voted, Greg voted 210 points that I won't drop Lego on the floor. Well, you see, thank you, Gregory, but the, the odds would have been much better on that if, if I was using a tray to keep the pieces in. Because then I would simply employ the finger technique to push the pieces apart and find the one I want to without any risk of them pushing off the table. <laughs> I 
I think the real risk is my gigantic sausage fingers thinking I've picked up a small piece which then just goes flying. That's what's going to happen. area is getting bigger and bigger, I mean. Another one of those. Well, have I... Right, there is a piece not on the table, which there should be, and there was one that kind of pinged around earlier, but I didn't hear it clatter to the floor. So is it... <gasps> oh, it didn't go on the floor. It went in my gooch. Um... <laughs> Look, that, that's, just, that's just where it appeared, that's what I mean. Not gonna lie, this isn't the same Viking music that I usually use. This bit I've not heard before. But we'll roll with it. It's different. There we go, just that bit. blue pieces. Oh, no, that's wrong. There we go, that's it. City needs to run and shower behave. I will do my best. You know what? I'm not Personally, I'm not, I'm not vibing to this different version than what I usually use. I'm going to go to the one that I know well. <laughs> A lot of it will be the same. Here we go. Relax Music Cafe is the one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to bring that down a bit. There we go. So I just did those two bits. Now. But it's, it's weird because I'm expecting it to be square like that, but it's actually wanting the build to be done this way. Um, there we go. That's 
going there. And that's going on the end of there. And we have this there. And then that here. show you what's been done so far up close. Doesn't look like much of anything, but it's very much the base plate upon which we will build upwards. I think this is where everything's going to clip together. Yeah. Central. There we go. Um, oh, it wants us to rotate it. Okay. So now we're looking at it this way. Oh, whoa, whoa, nearly. But you can't even see that against the table, can you? Not very well. Hmm. Might be worth me getting a different, like, lightweight table, but one with a different colour on it. Or I could just paint this one. That'd work too.
Hello Eve, welcome. I hope you are well. Welcome to the Legoing. Yeah, that was all very much the supporting structure. The base plate. The patty, if you will. And here we have the burger bun. We shall be lurking massively today, but hope fun is being had. For now, yes. Who knows what could happen in the next few hours. No. Um, no. No, it absolutely will be fun. It's Lego. How can there not be fun? And we are already nearly an hour in. Oh, it wants it moved again, so this time we're looking at it this way. That's going there. That next to it there. And that is there. almost through and then we will open as you might have guessed bag number two oh fucking hell <laughs> That's right, it didn't go on the floor, so it's fine. Oh, that's an interesting little little twig piece. Hmm. And that's facing downwards and flipping into there, like that. So we end up with that little brown bit there. God, I feel like I'm holding a sandwich. Mmm, <laughs> Legolicious. It's got that same sort of thickness, you know.
top. Yep, then it wants bag number two. Um, I think I'll put these some loose, loose pieces in the box over here. See, this is interesting. Um, this is clearly a paintbrush. But the holes on the side one make me wonder if it was also a same Lego piece that doubled as like a flute or something. Maybe. I don't know. Might be completely unrelated to that. But I've got no idea. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get on to bag number two. Bag number one didn't take an hour to do. It's just that an hour has passed because... I took a few minutes to start. There we go. out so I've got a good good visual range but that's interesting that is all one piece normally you would get like the shaft on its own with the block on the end but this is all one solid piece right carrying on with this we have this bit going here white overhang piece over here. Oh, of course, yeah, there's white to simulate snow. Snowy parts of the build. Nice. Better finish my coffee, it's getting cold. Ugh. Yes, okay, that bit's done. Uh, oh, that's interesting. What is this going to be? No. A stud piece onto that. And then... That is what we have just assembled. This goes here. I wonder what that's going to do. This 
archway piece next to it. reference where that's going to go just yet. I'll put it to one side. Get some more pieces down first. That one will go there. And that will go over here. And that's where this is meant to go. That's right, that's where that goes. Then we have a grey box with a gold piece on it here. Ooh, cool, we're building our first building our first building part now. Oh, I need two of those, whoops. PG name, hello, welcome back. How's it going? Uh, where's ah? There we go. Right, so two of those, and the other one goes here. There we go. Right, and now we can build this part of the building. You're good. Good to hear. Good to hear indeed. Ah, so that piece that I was waving up at the camera goes here. No. Ah, oh. <laughs> You're going through your jackets to see how many you have. Okay, cool. You have fun doing that. You recently got four from Transformers Legacy. Oh, excellent. Which ones? I've got a couple of ones from Legacy now. I've, I've got um, Leo Prime and Laser Optimus Prime and Armada, Armada Universe Optimus Prime, which is my favourite <laughs> and my bot of the year so far. Transmorphers. <laughs> I, I probably should watch those at some point, shouldn't I? 
I feel like it's my duty. Although I think they I think they've made one for every one of the Transformers movies, so that's at least uh, seven. I want it'd be, I'd be, I, I, it, it's a very low bar, but imagine if their fifth film was way better than Transformers: The Last Night. I don't know how they could have. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't hold it against them to do one against Bumblebee, but I mean, Bumblebee wasn't a bad film. It was a brilliant Transformers film. Arguably, still the best live-action film to date for Transformers. Anyway, we're not here for Transformers. We're here for Lego. Um. Got a nice little archway coming along. You sure there's trans Transmorphers Lego too? Uh, no, I don't know about that. There is definitely Transformers Lego though. I built it here on this stream. Lego Optimus Prime. It took six hours to do. <laughs> And that had more pieces than this build does. Which is why... No, sorry, this one's got more pieces than that one did, so... That's why I'm making the decision to split this into at least two streams. Okay. Oh, you mean knockoff Lego? Oh, there absolutely is. I own some. The, um... Breaking Bad RV. It looks like Lego. It works with Lego. But it ain't Lego. <laughs> That's, that, that was a great set, though. That, I mean, that took a while to build, but that was still fun. And I, I have, like, included it as part of the collection, even though it's not officially Lego. It ticks all the boxes otherwise. It looks like Lego. It feels like Lego. But it ain't Lego. Sounds like I'm pitching it, doesn't it? You may think it's genuine Lego, but I'm here to tell you it's not. And it can be yours. For a fraction of the cost. And there's like a jingle that plays. You found some Lego on sale, but only the sets you don't like. Your set wasn't on sale. What is your set? What set are you aiming for? Yeah, yeah, Lego VIP, you get more points. Which I am also very aware of. Oh, I like this wood panelling effect. Uh, PG got Sideswipe, Skids, Drag Strip, and Wild Rider. Ah, awesome! You've got the makings of Menasur there. Well, apart from Skids and Sideswipe. We need Lego Daddy set. <laughs> there we are, look at that. Isn't that nice? Ah, and then it wants these bits. There we go, we just put those little horn bits on. Oh, you want the orchid one and the bonsai tree? Neither was on sale. Ah, they will be. The bonsai is cute. Got all of them for forty dollars. Yeah, that's not bad at all. GGS. That's like that's like ten dollars each. Oh, two two packs. Ah, oh, even better. <laughs> More bang for your buck. Okay, this is going here. Okay, there we go. We have our first kind of part of a building. That's going 
you know armor. Put that little piece in there. Can't even see it. Missing three for Menasaur. The big combination. Yep. Motormaster. Um. Oh, crikey, hang on. So Wild Rider, Drag Strip, Motormaster, Breakdown, and uh, Dead End. There we go. Got there in the end. Okay, what are we doing now? We've got a flame piece, which is going in here. I think it's a downside of the overhead cam here. You can't see what I'm doing with this little interior, but I will show you the scene once it's done. That's not in there properly. This bit, okay, goes there, and then this on this with this on top. It's a helmet. Main one will cost. It did. I dropped a Lego. No, it fell out of this onto the table. It didn't go on the floor. Don't worry. You'll know if it goes on the floor because you'll hear me huffing and puffing to get myself onto the floor to find it. And there'll probably be much swearing as well. Not a fucking leg on the fucking floor, where we go. <laughs> there will be signs, don't worry. Okay, that's going there. Oh, I said I was going to show you, didn't I? Whoops. My bad. Oh, my pasty. Oh, my pasty. <laughs> If you see the rest on sale, you're going to buy. That's the idea. Save them pennies. There we are. That's what we just put in inside the building piece. We've got a helmet, a shield on the wall, and I think I guess that's just a candle on display there. Going good so far. Where's the bit that I removed and then put down? This here is. That one is going there. So we've still got still got some clearance for the whatever this lever does. Um, move. Another concern is that the sleeve from my hoodie picks up a bit of Lego piece and moves it around. This hoodie is too big for me, but I like it. So the look, you can see the <laughs> there's a lot of sleeve action there. Um, right. Ah, so that is going in there. Okay, hot 
stuff. Ah, okay, and this is going there. So that doesn't do anything yet. Oh. So this is kind of making the flames go up and down. Cool. spend too much can you um thank you space <laughs> intense sleeve action come on where you at Leela? i feel like we're whizzing through bag number two as well that's that's where all this came from was bag number two i've already forgotten where i said i might Pause. It was either going to be the three hour mark or bags. Well, hang on, I'll go back to the beginning of the instructions and double check. But I think bags 9 through 15 were all on one section. Okay. So th this is what I've just done. And there's this fire action there, which is getting a bit caught, cool, but. It's, it's largely working. Oh! Oh, I just missed it! That was step 69. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's aim to do bags 1 to 8 today, and then we'll do 9 to 15 next week. But who knows, it might, it might take longer than I anticipate. It might take less time than I anticipate, but whichever happens first, either the 3 hour mark or getting to bag 8, that'll be when we end. Methinks. Oh no, not that bit. This bit will go on here and then we have this going around it so right away I can tell you that this is a little forge area because we've got the unpainted shield we've got the helmet and like the flames coming up and down like that it's like a forge although they're not yeah something's catching there but it's still it's still working as it should and then this and this Whoa, fuck. There you go. Four. Nothing went on the floor. It's fine. Oh, God, I've got a 
figure out where these go. Oh, I missed a bit. This piece goes inside the building. I missed that. Never mind. Better late than never. I don't know if this bit is meant to sound like a pig or if it's someone like sawing something. But I think someone else pointed out that it sounds like a pig and now I can't unhear it as a pig. Butterfingers, correct. Thank you for the 20 bits, Eve. Thank you very much. Most unexpected, but most welcomed. Thank you. So two of those, one of those, one of those, one of those, two of those. Okay, good. Up to date. Oh, no, hang on. That's wrong. That needs to go there. Which means that needs to go there. Oh, Christ. And this. You're coming out of the shadows of the lurky corner, throwing your bits at me and slowly walking back into the darkness of the lurky corner. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Eve came out of the shadows just for that and it was much appreciated. That bit there, that bit's in the right place, that bit there, this, then dudes. And I just want you to be there, which may or may not be where I just picked it up from. decorative floor pieces that are round. I find them harder to line up. Yeah, that goes there. Ah, see, that bit's easy. That just goes there. Lastly, this 
over in the corner here. Cool. Yeah. That was a bit of a pain, but we do have some decorative kind of stonework on the floor now. Barrel goes just here. This white piece here goes there. This goes next to it there. Oops, sort of something just moved. I think it's fine. Uh, that goes there. This goes there. More snow decoration here. This goes over here. That on there. This round piece is going here. And this is going there. Thumbs up. <laughs> uh, right, now we've got a series of tools sitting in the bucket, uh, sitting in the barrel, sorry. We have a hammer. Like that. We have the sword. We've got um, a pickaxe. And then just a, just a black rod. And these are all sitting inside the barrel. sitting there and then we have a bucket with a translucent piece inside it bucket of water <laughs> tiny and that's going there god it doesn't sit in there very securely there we go gotta watch that next this, this, oh fucking hell, nearly lost it again. Oh brilliant, it's a little anvil on a wooden block. Great design, love that. And that sits next to the water bucket, of course it does. Right, then we have this. That's going there. This over here between those. And two of these. On here, like this. The 
very nice. That was so simple yet so effective. And it only took four pieces to make that. Four small, well, two small pieces and two kind of, well, other little pieces. Very good. Um, right, this goes on here. Oh, these back a bit. There we go. That's where they go. And then these go on here. Yeah. Golden floral pieces here. angled roof bit now. Oh, I was wondering. I was wondering what this bit is for. You'll see. It is a wispy smoke effect for the top of the forge. Excellent. Another beautiful thing, beautiful thing about Lego is that I can hold it sideways, and you can, and you know, I haven't got to worry about it tipping over. Although I did just remember that very small piece of water in the bucket there. Cool. Well, we are approaching the end of bag number two. In fact, that is the end of bag number two. So we're now on to bag number three. Excellent, Eggman. I hog that hate hedge. Sun the hedge. <laughs> I love that meme. Cool. Bag number three. Doesn't look like there's a huge amount in here, but we'll see how long it takes. Snooping as usual, I see. <laughs> Pingus. Ooh, lots of tiny little pieces in there. Oh dear. That makes for excellent floor fodder. But we'll see how we go. Oh, that's a nice decorative piece. Let me show you that. I wonder where that's going to go. Check that out. The bow and the Midgard Serpent on. Lovely stuff. All right, well, uh, looks like we're doing the roof first. God, my watch keeps rotating around my arm. Yep, like that.
of snow decoration on it as well. Up my bum? Wait, what? What did I miss there? <laughs> Up my bum? I forget what I said. Did I say, oh, where's that piece gone? Cute little banner. Oh, that, that one? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good, very nice. Have you checked your butthole? Skip up, but up, butthole. We no longer have that as a sound. It was just just a bit. It was just a bit of a, a bit of an obnoxious one, tbh. Like invasive, intrusive. And nobody wants invasive, intrusive things in their butthole. Well, some might. We don't judge here. We don't yuck anyone's yum. If you want to go in through the exit, fine by me. See that bit holds it together. Oh, brilliant! Look at that! Huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't judge here. Um, oh, okay. We're putting that to one side for now. Oh, it's like, it, it's like I'm reading from a, from a book. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, this is also nice. So this. bits interlock like that. And I've got to make two of those. Was excellent. Look at that. That's that's that roof piece done. That looks great. I love that. That was, that was a real joy to build. That was. Um, and this is. Is it just sitting on top of here, or is it meant to plug in? Oh, hang on. Got it the wrong way around. There we go. I think it is just meant to sit there, and then if you want to see it, you just take it off like that. Uh, right, I'm going to carefully show this whole bit without hopefully anything sp spilling out of it. Here's what we've done so far. But we're still not done. Of course, bag number three has all these green pieces to go with as well. So let's see what these come up with. Okay, we got a little, a little pine tree, and that just sits outside there. Doesn't matter which way it's facing.
assemble four of these and put them So we, we have this. Cool. Oh, and, and that just goes as it is over here. On there, like that. Oh, but we're not done. Not with that, anyway. There we have the, uh, the, the the twanging tree, the tree that goes. Brrr. Cool. And we're still not done with it. Okay. That goes into that. There we go. Now that tree is done. And now we get to build this. And this will be the end of bag number three. A, um, like a marker stone thing it just sits on there like that slightly at an angle by the looks of it there we go so that should mark the end of bag number three indeed it does Put the pieces in here and then move on to bag number four with our second minifig of the day. <laughs> our first minifig of the day. Second minifig. Bag number four. Feels like it's full of big chunky pieces, but it might. Yeah, there's a bag of little ones there. Oh, this is also the second build. So I think this bit's done. I will therefore move it to one side. Um, I'll put pictures up in the Discord later of what we've made today. Um, I will put this here. Cool. And now we have the space to build number four. Or, this, or the second building, rather. Which looks to be like the sort of long haul of the village. Not to be confused with Long Haul the Transformer. Alright. 
the minifig, then. Looks to be some kind of hunter guy. That's his name. My name is Hunter Guy. Hunter of elk. Lover of women. Oh wait, sorry, that's Man Beast. Man Beast. If you know, you know. Okay. Uh, and he has a bow and arrow. And a horned helmet. Hunter Guy. Let's put him over here with um, Mrs. Hammer. Little, little Miss Hammer. Uh, okay, let's get on with the second building. Which, in a similar fashion to its predecessor, we'll start with a sort of base plate first. My spine.
me so far. Ugh. Um, sort of clippy bits on the side. I'm pretty sure those are going to be what clips the whole thing together, like the whole segments. Hunter guy did not last the journey. He's the first to fall. But at least he didn't fall off the table. In fact, nothing has fallen off the table so far. It's all looking good so far. Famous last words. I know, I know. <laughs> mm. I am notorious for my famous last words. Oh, this thing can't possibly go wrong. And then it immediately goes wrong.
Right, well, according to the... According to OBS, we have just ticked over the two-hour mark. Um, but, uh, again, a, a lot of the beginning of the stream was just me gacking, and also I was late, so... Probably will stop at just a little bit past three. <laughs> Good God. Um, swivel it about. This is what we've done so far, by the way. It's very much just a long middle piece, this whole bit. So it's not going to take up a huge amount of space, width and length, but height it will. Stone steps building up. added to the stairs here. That's in the wrong place. No, don't take the whole thing with you. staircase there. I'm curious to know what these purple pits do. They um are really sticking out amongst the pile there. Oh, I know what that's going to be. That's going to be the fire pit, isn't it? Because there's some flame pieces and... Yeah. That makes sense. Those bits there. We shall soon be done with bag number four. If you can believe it. We don't need to believe it. It's right here. 
It's happening before our very eyes. Whoops. Get on there, thank you. And this on the opposite corner. Opposite edge. Oh. Oh, that's what these bits are for. They're just like, I don't know, just generic identifying pieces. Purple, purple with a white bit on top. Then these. I guess it's meant to mimic coal. Happy Lego building, Bobo. Cine is off to play Baldur's Gate now. Hey, have fun, Cine. Let us know your thoughts in the gaming channel. Show us your character that you create. And the friends you make along the way. Because everyone knows that's where the real rewards are. In an adventure. Although a nice full bag of coin is... Just as good. Uh, right. And I, did I say small bag of coin or full bag of coin? Full is what I meant. Uh, oh god. Come on, pull yourself together. So these are meant to slap onto the side, but... Oh, like that, okay, yeah. And then we put the fire in. fire bit. Fire pit. And that'll just go in there. Like that. And that is flush with the floor. Beautiful. That's the kind of thing you like. Right. Then it wants a bit of greenery there. And here at the back. And then out the front. It, <laughs> it's alright, it's fine. It didn't go off. Oh, and these are little. Uh, what do you call them? The, the, the little the dock bollard things that you tie boats to. Boat, boat posts? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not panicking, you're panicking. There we go. I like that because it's like it wants me to put the Viking boat out in front of it. <laughs> um, those are done. There's only some small pieces left. Indeed, we are on to bag number five. Uh, 
And as that was the last bag in the box, I will now move six, seven, eight, seven is a very small bag, and eight. Okay, because that's where we're aiming to end. Saying that, there's not a huge amount of pieces in here. Not really. Got some cool gold pieces. snow decoration pieces alongside. Ah, looks like we're building a throne, which looks pretty dope. Good, good dope, apparently, that's what I said. Um, Cool. 
gold pieces, fake little sort of armrests. Hang on, I'll hold it up to the camera. Like that, to make a little seat. <laughs> There are two different shades of brown among the pieces here, but the instructions really, like, I don't know if it's just the lighting or if it's how it's printed, but it's really a struggle to see the distinction between the two shades. But I think that, like, if, if there is a piece in a colour that I need, it will only be that one piece in that colour, so there's no, there's no confusion. There's our little high seat. It goes there. Lovely. And again, this is what we've got so far. Looks like we're moving on to the walls, or a wall. We'll go on a wall. Damn windy out there. You can hear the wind chopping down the um, vent. There we go, the back wall behind the seat.
Okay, that's, that's an interesting design choice. So we'll build up the stacks of these kind of panel pieces. And then they're sitting sideways on their like flat. So that so they're, they're not they're not connected, they just sort of rotate like that. Sure, it will all make sense once it's done. I mean, that might have been the only choice given the width of the building. Yet more tiny, awesome Lego detail. Sort of log ends and the, again, the serpent motif on the panel there. a bit. You, you wouldn't normally find a piece this big left over at the end of a section, so I think, yeah, that bit there and that bit on the other side. There. And these must be spares. They are not spares. I have simply missed where they go. I'm going to have to Free this up briefly. Oh, bollocks. Ow! <laughs> right, that goes there, but this goes there. We've got these flat pieces. add some supports to the sides of the door there. So there we are. That concludes bag number five and we are now moving on to bag number six. Again I'll put the spares in the box. Ooh. Which seems to include another minifig. Yep it does. old warrior. Robot to nut. <laughs> thank you so much, Tin. And thank you, Brian. Robot to nut. 
Brian actually said it like a name then, didn't he? Ah, yes. Robop Tunut. Thank you so much, Tim. I hope you're well. Where, where are you up to with um, yours and Bren's Doctor Who rewatch? I know you're in your tenant era now. Okay, so the old guy is holding a sword and a shield. That's a cool looking sword. And he's wearing a helmet with... Ah, bug! Go away! I feel bad now, the bug might just want you to help with some Lego. Um... Oh, he's got two shields. Uh... Helmet, helmet. Ah, there you go, there's the helmet. And then he's got some horns. Sticking out the side. I think you're three episodes in. Can't remember though, of the first Tenant series anyway. Ah, okay then. Noise. Gonna be a fun ride. There we are. There's the old warrior minifig. There were three mini, mini three mini figs deep. Oh, stretching out the back a bit. Interior slash outer walls of the building. Fuck's sake, BRB, wind has knocked the bins over. Oh, it's really windy down. It's really, really windy. <laughs> it's really windy down here as well, Tim. Mind how, mind how you go. Don't get carried off with the bins. Next time I see you, you're floating down in front of my flat with, <laughs> with an umbrella. Uh, Martin Poppins. So, 
you can't really see because it's over the top, but we're just building up the side of the building here, look. Oop. flipper Rooney. I think. Or have I just been doing the wrong side this whole time? I've been doing the wrong side. This whole time. Whoops! Well, I'm hoping that it gets built the same way. Um... Uh, okay, not quite. It's largely the same, but not quite. Okay, that's fine. I just gotta swap these over. Um, yeah, that does explain this bit, to be, to be honest. No! No! If anything, I've just skipped ahead a little bit when we get through some later pages. So those going in there. Same for the other side. Actually, it might be different on the other side because there aren't any more of these barrel pieces. Right, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This bit over here. Okay, yeah, we're back on board. two of those, but these make the windows. So there's one. Top. And, that, there. and 
that appears to be a completed wall for the... A wall for the hall. And now it wants us doing this side. Although we've got a few interior bits to do first. There's an axe on the wall. shield goes here. There's a spear which goes here. Oh, I think there's one little extra fire piece that doesn't need to be in there, so I'm going to remove that. like we're doing some kind of rotisserie. Ow. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. There's like an arm holding a frying pan over the fire. finish doing this interior bit and then I'll hold it up to the camera. some more pieces out of the way. There we are. Check that out. Did someone say spit roast? Behave. Oh. Uh, okay, no. There we go. So you've got the... Um the fire with the frying pan, you've got a chicken chicken leg at the front there, you've got the goblets, the throne, and the weapons on the back wall. Awesome stuff. Right, now we do the bit that I accidentally did ahead of time earlier. But it is a spit roaster. Rotisserie is just extra. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Have your spit roast. <laughs> Why 
All right then, keep your spit roasts. <laughs> oh God, Frodo, no. I have a dirty mind. Well, don't we all? <laughs> oh, no, it's a bit longer than that. Okay. That's that bit done. And now, these belong here. Eight of those, okay. Two. onto the side of the building like that. Oh got two. Four. Just some external detailing but it looks really good. Oops. Ugh. 
can't get my fingers in me. I'm going to have to use my tweezers. <laughs> I get like performing surgery. Alright, cool. So, this is as far as we've got so far. Um, it's nearly six o'clock, I reckon, given that there's not much in bag number seven. We'll do this, and then we'll call it a day. Didn't quite get to bag eight, but I'm happy to, you know, I said it was either going to be that or the three-hour mark, so we'll do bag number seven, and then call it a day. Until next week, where I will continue the build. Ah! Got my finger caught in the box. Alright then! Well, this time I'll have it facing the right way so I don't do the wrong thing too early. Four of these. Uh, Gregory, are you stealing all of Tin's cubes? So far, yes. I haven't dropped any Lego on the floor yet, but we've still got this little pile here, so the prediction is not yet over. For all we know, it'll happen as we're raiding out or something. But so far, you're in with a good chance, Tim. <laughs> uh, sorry, Tim, you should have had more faith in me, apparently. Cube fight! <laughs> There can only be one cube lander. Oh, I've got to make two of those. Oh, nice little, little banner. Banners in the back there. Then two of these in the middle at either end. Well, hey. Four of these. Oh, wait, no, I've got to do more of those. Shit, okay. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I looked ahead. Get fucked, did he? <laughs> wow! Grid Gregory, more like greed gree thirsting after all those points. In before Gregory said he doesn't thirst because he's a good Christian boy.
Right, good. Got him in the final batch at the top here. Ah, we're getting the doors on, lovely. I like these doors. Um, something I never thought I would hit, you would hear me say, is it? Oh, I put that bit facing the wrong way. There we go. Right, that brings today to a close. Don't end the prediction yet, because I'm still not exactly done. Um, let's put that as my, my little bookmark. Um, let me get the forge that you can have here. There you go, yeah, so that will clip alongside there, clearly. Or, I mean, if you were really mad, you could have it that way as well. Yeah, it looks like that would work as well. Brilliant. There's some modulation with it as well. I have 690 followers according to my on-screen tracker. Uh, I think Twitch says 691, um, unless one of them is a bot account. But yeah, nice. 690, okay, cool. Nice. Okay, so here's what we've made today. We have the forge with all the bells and whistles, and we've very nearly finished the long haul, or just a haul. But uh, we will aim to finish the whole build next week on Sunday the 28th of Janvier immediately drops the entire set on the floor and destroys it. S do not speak such evils, please. But there we go. Um, I believe the prediction can now end for I am no longer touching the Lego. Um, prediction end, please. Let's bring it home. Although I think Cinny set up the prediction, so I think, is Cinny the only person who can end it? Can I end it as the streamer? No, I know I can't, because... Well, no, I could, because I, I'm the streamer. I can say what the outcome is, can't I? Is that how it works? Oh, it's over. Nice. Prediction ended. I did not drop any Lego on the floor. 
10,240 points go to... Uh, oh, they go between Gregory and Aaron. Excellent. Lovely. Any mod can end it as long as they didn't take part. Ah, thank you, Space. Thank you for clarifying. Sorry, Tin. You lost yourself 10,000 points. <laughs> um, right, let's bring the music down. Five hours this took, according to the music that's been playing. 9,775 of Tim's... Tim. Tim. Timothy. Tin's delicious cubes. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Don't eat them all at once. Make them last. All right, gang. Let's see who we can raid out to today. Who we got? Oh, my back. I'm glad I'm stopping now. <laughs> I'll be spending the rest of my day putting my back together. Um together again um ah, let Indo's live playing some portal which I think would be good um oh, I don't know Elder, Elder Scrolls online though Pirate Steeb who's Pirate Steeb um or Nevelation is playing Pal World which is the talk of the town at the moment Oh, cock! <laughs> oh, crikey, it's the Rosses. Um. Okay, yeah, yeah. How's Pirate Steve doing? Add. Drops and giveaways for Elder Scrolls Online. Ooh. Get Ouroboros Crown Crate by watching Pirate Steve play the Elder Scrolls Online. A little treat for you, chat. Um, oh, has only been live for four minutes? Yeah, let's let's give um, Pirate Steve a raid. Oh, it's just starting soon, in fact. Um, that's okay. We, we can we can raid as he's starting. I have three hundred k. What? Oh wait. Oh wait. No, Tin's got over three hundred k points here. Bloody hell, Tin! How do you do it? Well, he watches, doesn't he? Um, Pirate Steve. Again, um, Pirate Steep has only just gone live, um, but they are playing Elder Scrolls Online, which I will be looking to play at some point myself online, obviously, on stream I mean. Um, don't forget, to, favours, favours, uh, don't forget that this week we have, <laughs> coming up, Top Gear Music Plays, um, Minecraft tomorrow. Uh, doing a lot more of the manor and showing off what I've done with it so far. Wednesday, more Witcher 3. And Wednesday, fingers crossed, I will have an update on the PC. <gasps> um, that's a personal computer, not police constable or political correctness. Um, uh, Friday, more Fallout 3. Saturday, movie is Nimona, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Uh, and of course, Elder Scrolls. And then more Lego on Sunday. Again, watch for the schedule update. It'll be posting not long after this stream. Am I selling cubes for sexual favours again? Yeah, but only if Tin requests them. Um, it's it's a Tin-only service. <laughs> uh, right, enjoy Pirate Steep's stream. See you guys in there. Have a good day. <laughs>